It's Capital Dance, the UK's official dance music station, and it is a great honour and a privilege to welcome back to the station one of the biggest DJs in the universe. Ooh. The one and only James Hypes thank in the you, building! Thank you, thank you. Yes. It's fun to be here. I love coming in here. Listen, it's an honour and a privilege to always have you in, man, but it's been a long time. It really has. I was trying to remember how long it's been, and I think we were talking about Ferrari last time I was in here. Yeah, it was a year ago. Mm. It popped up on my messages, on, on, on my memories, when you brought the Ferrari in. Good memories. Very good memories. The new single, Lose Control. We love it. Thank you so much. I was in the car yesterday and I heard it. How did it feel for you dropping it for the first time and seeing the response that you got? Yeah, so to be honest, the first time I dropped it was actually on Instagram, not in not in front of a crowd. <laughs> but I, I was I spent a week in the studio in New York and I was just m smashing out these ideas of tracks and I just put like a, a carousel of these tracks on Instagram and that was one of them and people were like, what is this? We need this. <laughs> and there's like 3,000 comments like, number one, number one, number one. <laughs> and because um, I... Sometimes you don't know what's good when you make it because you, you're a producer yourself, so you know. Sometimes you think everything you make is amazing and sometimes you think everything's terrible. Yeah. So it's it's really nice to get that feedback from the people. Then, of course, you dropped it in front of a crowd. Mm. How was that? How was the response? Because it looked like it was ridiculous. It feels really good when because it's, it's kind of got that like sub bass when it comes in. It's like, when the vocal goes as well. Yeah, it's a moment. Everyone puts their hands in the air and the drop's powerful and... Is it one thing I always try and do is make a tune that has emotion and is also hard hitting, and I think I did it with this one. No, you nailed it. You nailed it with this one. Uh, obviously, this summer you have been all over the place since we last spoke, since we last had you in. But this summer, the focus is going to be on Ibiza. Oh yeah, at high. You're looking forward to playing this one there. I am. I, it's my first week in a couple of days, um, and yeah, I haven't been there since last year. And it's the number one club in the world, so what's not to love? Uh, I've just got to get some music together because I'm playing a long set, keep, keeping the people on the dance floor and taking the vibes through till like six in the morning. So I love that. I love that. Now, the last time we mentioned it off air, but we had you in and we were talking about how Chris Lake hadn't responded to your Instagram DM. Yeah. And now he has. Now we're friends. Now <laughs> you're friends. I feel like we're, we're capital dance friends now. <laughs> like, what happened? Well... Uh, to be honest, I think what helped is that we toured Australia together. Um, <laughs> but, but, but no, 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 we'll take credit. We'll take credit. We'll take credit. For the purpose of the interview, um, yeah, it, we we uh, we connected on a DM after after Capital Dance called him out for not responding to me. <laughs> <laughs> Any plans to work together in the future? Any ideas going backwards and forwards? <laughs> Watch this face. Yeah, I know, I know that face. What's this face? I, I know you too well, James. <laughs> I know that face. That face is. Watch this face. Shut up. I can't say anything. <laughs> so, who else has been in your DMs recently? Who else has been saying, "Come on, James, let's let's work together"? Well, funnily, you should ask that. You probably know a producer called Mal P. Oh yes, All right. The guy who did "Cause I Got My from Amsterdam." Yeah, he ignored me. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, the other week I was like, I was I was on his Instagram and I was like, oh, I really like what he makes, and I think he he's like the type of producer who makes his own music and all of this, and I always I always respect those kind of people. Yeah. Um. And uh, so I just thought I'd reach out and send I sent him a bunch of ideas that I've been working on. I was like, do you, do you do you like the idea of any of these? We could collab on them. And nothing. Two weeks went by, no response. <sighs> so there you go. We're calling him out today. <laughs> Mal P. We know that you listen to Capital Dance. We know you're probably watching this right now. I'm looking dead in the camera. You and James Hype making a record together might just blow people's minds completely off their necks. So, reply. <laughs> <laughs> Silently laughing. <laughs> I love the fact that you just politically know, I can't, re I can't react. Also, Major Laser. Oh. I've got a club with Major Laser. And since we're doing this... We are waiting for Diplo's team to tell me when I can release it because this record has been in the making for about a year and it's amazing. I drop it every set. Every time I put it on Instagram, everyone's like, when is this dropping? It's called number one. <laughs> and the problem with collaborating with such a huge artist, there's so many people involved and they'll yes. have to be like, oh, it can't come out on this day because of this. So, yeah. I can't help you with Diplo. <laughs> I've known him for years. I've tried. I can't help you with this. 
Do you know what? Actually, Wes, if you could reply to either one of us, that'd be amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Wes. <laughs> Honestly, it's been so long. We There's so much stuff that we could talk about, but the first thing that I need to mention is EDC in Vegas. Oof. Oh, my God. Gosh, really is a special festival, and I don't say that lightly. I've been to a lot of festivals now, and that is that is up there. It's maybe the best in the world. I don't want to show any sort of favoritism, but it's the best in the world. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I played three sets on three huge stages, and uh, I played on the main stage, and there were eighty thousand people there. Can you even? <sighs> it's like that's like a football stadium. That's crazy, isn't it? It was that's so great. so special. That's ridiculous. For you, being able to be on the EDC main stage, playing house music, yeah. how does that feel? It's definitely a moment in time where house music is becoming the sound that is on the main stage. And I was having this conversation with somebody earlier today. I'm going to Korea in two days, South Korea, and... I looked at the lineup on this stage and there's lots and lots of EDM artists and then me in the middle and it's like, whoa, this is this is a moment for house music. And I'm seeing I'm seeing that in so many places around the world right now. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. But I mean, look, you know, I remember when when I first saw you DJ and it was in a local club in the UK. Absolutely. And you have put the graft in and the grind in from day one. And now you're playing main stage EDC. Not only playing main stage EDC, you're playing three stages. Not only playing three stages, <laughs> but you're also then playing a very special techno set. Yeah. Tell me, what would you tell the very young James Hype that you know now? What would you tell him? Be as much of yourself as you possibly can, because that's the only thing that you have that no one else has. Um, work very, very hard and... Do what makes you happy, not necessarily what other what you think makes other people happy. And you probably think that you're amazing, but it's going to be ages until you're amazing, and even then you still won't be amazing. I love that. <laughs> How was the techno set, though? Well, I'm going to drop it on YouTube very soon. Um, it was It was really weird because the way I DJ, I know my music inside out. And playing like a different genre of music, I felt a little bit disconnected from the music. Um, so I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed the main stage set. But when I listened back to it, it was great. Yeah. So I, in my head, it wasn't that good. But then listening back to it and watching the video, it's it's fire. And I can't wait for it to come out so people can kind of see a different side of me musically. Are, are we going to get a, a techno alias? Is it, is it going to be James less hype? No. James White. No. <laughs> <laughs> James, don't move. <laughs> Relax, James. <laughs> James, relax! There it is! There's the techno alias! You want to collab? Listen, I'll bring a kick drum and white noise for nice. four hours. We'll nice. do it. The thing that I love about really good techno is that there's an energy and there's a pulse to it yeah. that changes, but you don't understand how it changes. Mm -hmm. You'll listen to an eight-minute song and it will hold you for those eight minutes, yeah. but you're not too sure what's changed, <laughs> but something has. You're not bored. How can you? Do, how do you do that, playing at EDC? Is it a long-time conversation no, to go, I'd was, like to do a techno It was set. absolutely not a long time. Nothing I ever do is a long-time conversation. <laughs> um, it was just me thinking, okay, I'm doing three sets here. I need to do something different for my own sanity. But also, I know there's loads of people who want to come and watch me three times. I can't... I'm not gonna play Ferrari every every minute. Every, you know, I've got if I just if I was just on stage playing my own records, I could fill 60 minutes with that. So I'm not gonna do that three times. I have to I have to give another another side of me. And I just thought this was a good opportunity because I always download these kind of records and I never really play them very often. Sometimes at the end of the set, I'll go into this, but I I have a, a bit of a knowledge of this kind of music. I'm not saying I'm a I'm an expert, but. I do. You're listen, passionate about. It. I do exactly. I do listen to this music, so it's an opportunity for me and an opportunity for the for the fans as well to just yeah, some, something special that isn't going to happen next week or the week no, after. No, but that was special for EDC Vegas. We need to talk about the Vegas residency. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I know that if I go back to the first James Hype that I met and said to you, you, you will definitely have a Vegas residency. Yeah. The first James Hype that I met would say, yes, I definitely will, but you probably wouldn't have believed it. Now you have got that. <laughs> yeah, now that's, you, that's, that's fair. That's fair. You, you've got the residency. How does that feel? It's honestly a dream. You said to me that you first met me playing in local clubs, and it's, it's, I almost feel like all of the local clubs that we've ever been to 
were designed after these Vegas clubs. They, they, it's like they looked they looked at Vegas and they were like, "Ooh, they're doing something good over there." So they just t- kind of took the took the model and brought it back to the UK. So I, honestly, I, I have to pinch myself. I'm playing in these clubs like Omnia in Las Vegas, where Martin Garrix is a resident, and I'm like, "Is this real? Am I real? Like, this is good as it gets." But yeah. for 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 the world of nightclubs, this is as good as it gets, and. Honestly, it means more to me sometimes than doing like these big festivals and stuff because it's so, it's where I came from. Mm. I, I came from the dance floor in these in these local clubs, and that is the the ultimate dance floor. But I suppose you walk in and you go, I know what to do here. Oh yeah, I've uh, served my apprenticeship in clubs oh, like yeah. this. I know what to do here. Oh yeah, put put me in a techno set and I'll have to I'll have to plan it for three days. But <laughs> <laughs> a, club, a club like that, I'll just, oh yeah, I play all night. I know that what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but this is the radio, so we want to know what the craziest thing is that you've seen. We saw we saw someone buying a hundred thousand dollar bottle of champagne. Like, that's 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 a house. <laughs> Worst part is my tour manager just dumped this glass of champagne next to me, and I was like. Okay, thanks. All right. And then I didn't drink it because I wasn't drinking. And then he told me at the end what it was. And I was like, bro, you should have told me that that glass was like (laughs) $20,000. We want to play a game with you that we have been playing with every DJ that has passed through Capital Dance Towers. Okay. It's called Set Roulette. Mm. It's pretty simple. We spin a magic wheel. Uh, The wheel either lands on cringe, wild, or weird. And we need to know either the wildest, weirdest, or cringiest thing that has happened to you, either whilst playing or watching a set. Let's go. Roll in the wheel! Oh, wow. It's an amazing wheel. It's radio. It's just a sound effect, people. (laughs) What's it landing on? Cringe, I want your cringe story. All right, cringe, cringe, cringe. Okay, so as soon as you said cringe... It brought me back to a time when I was DJing in a nightclub and a random guy who was drunk on a night out came up next to me and he was like, I think I think we were in the north, so I'm going to do a northern accent. He was like, have you got a microphone, mate? And I was like, why? And he's like, because I'm an MC. Do you, do, you, do, you want, do you want to hear me, MC? And he started MCing in my ear. He's spitting in my ear. And <laughs> I'm getting wet. And, and I can't even hear what's going on. We're in a nightclub. But, like, it's, 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 it's a time and a place. He's emceeing in my ear really loud. I'm like, mate, and he's got his arm around me, you know, like, he won't let go of me. I'm like, has this ever worked? Have you ever gone into a nightclub, emceed in the DJ's ear, and he gave you a mic? <laughs> Please tell me that he realised what he'd done and walked off. <laughs> it, lasted, it lasted a few minutes, and I'm, very, I'm a very polite person as well. I, I didn't tell him he was good. I, I'm not a liar. But... <laughs> You tolerated th- it politely. I th- maybe I said the mic was broken or something. <laughs> yeah, sorry, mate. The mic's broke. The, the promoter said no MCs tonight. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Well, it's been a long time, James, but we've brought that MC here. He is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good job that that doesn't happen to you now. Yeah, they wouldn't get past the tour manager now. No, definitely not. <laughs> he, we... he has to listen to them instead. <laughs> Is that that you basically putting a call out for MCs to come and MC for your tour manager? <laughs> give, give it a try. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah, see what happens. James, you are one of the sickest DJs around. Thank you. If you were faced with a zero energy crowd, what would you do to turn it around? I, um... <laughs> <laughs> But there's a few there's a few sides to this question because I I get energy from the crowd so sometimes if the crowd's giving me nothing I really I have to like sometimes you'll see me jumping around on stage and you'll be like why is he jump? I'm trying to like hype myself up you know sometimes yeah. so I kind of there's that element but then also I feel like sometimes less is more because I, I have a tendency to over deliver to a zero energy crowd but sometimes that's actually the wrong thing to do and that's kind of an inexperienced thing to do so this is something that I think about all the time <laughs> we just try and match them where they are take them on a journey what tune would you go for if the crowd were really really dead <laughs> Ferrari <laughs> <laughs> perfect because it gives it brings me on to the fact that you have won an award okay the award for the most played song on this radio station. No in way! Yes, that that is absolutely insane. Absolutely, really humbling. I didn't I didn't expect that at all. That's brilliant. Most played record on the station, man. Wow. So uh, we we're we gonna rename it Capital James Hype Dance. I mean, James Hype presents Capital Dance. Nice. <laughs> you should come and have a show for that. That would be really fun. 
Whenever you're ready. Yeah, that would be really fun. When there's the gap in your diary. Yeah, good luck. 2020, <laughs> 2047. <laughs> I mean, look, James, it's always an honour and a privilege to have you in the studio, man. And I know how busy you are. So the fact that you made time to come back to us, that really does mean a lot. Oh, thank you, man. We want to wish you all the very, very best in the future. <laughs>